Leroy's Pokemon Black and White Walkthrough, Part 26. Welcome to Mistralton City! Um, now there's a couple things to do here in Mistralton, but before you can do anything, you're actually going to be introduced to a brand new character. Um, not really anyone too important, but he's going to come over, and he somehow knows my name, which kind of creeps me out when strangers know my name, but um, he's going to check your Pokedex, give you some compliments, and then he's like, Oh, excuse my manners, my name is Juniper, Cedric Juniper! I mean, is that not the greatest name ever, Cedric Juniper? Um, but yeah, he's Professor Juniper's father, and he's going to upgrade your Pokedex. So yeah, what a nice guy. And check this out. Look at this girl right here, Skyla. Like, oh my goodness, Skyla. You are, you are not even a real human being, but you are beautiful. And look, Cedric Juniper, this sly dog, is just hanging out with beautiful women all across Unova. I mean, he's just hanging out with Skyla, like, no big deal, just the most beautiful girl in any Pokemon game ever. So then he's off to, like, who knows what girl he's going to next, but... Anyways, yeah, I'd like to talk to you some more, Skyla, and you know my name, too! Now I feel so special. Uh, but basically, she's the gym leader here in the Stralton City, and she's gonna say you can't come to fight the gym next... Or, you can't, sorry, you can't fight the gym yet until you go to Celestial Tower first. So yeah, that's some tower in the route north of here that we're gonna have to check out. Um, but check out, this city's pretty cool. You got this, like, giant airplane. Um, there's actually a lot of airplanes here. That's the whole theme, flying. Um, the gym leader's a flying type, too. And if you come over by this airplane, you can find a item. An item. It's TM-58 Skydrop, so it's fitting for the town with airplanes and stuff. So yeah, pretty decent TM. Um, let's see, there's a couple things to check out here in the city. This is a really small town, um... There's really not much to do here other than the gym, but you can get an item in here. And I forget you have to talk to. You talk to someone in here. Um, no, not you. Apparently not you either. I should figure these things out before the video starts. It must be you then. Yeah, she will give you the sharp beak, which boosts up the power of flying type moves. So this is like the greatest town ever for your flying types, apparently. Um, they're just praised and adored here in Mistralton City. Anyways, I don't think there's anything in this house. This must just be the um, Stralton City sign. Um, yeah, there's actually something to do in the Pokemon Center, which is um, pretty uncommon, but here in Stralton City, there's a dude in here that will um, tell you what hidden power type you have. So, I don't know if you're familiar with the move Hidden Power. It Basically, if you teach it to your Pokemon, it will just take a random type in the game, and that's what type it will be. And this guy will tell you um, what type it will learn. So apparently my Palpatoad can get a Steel Hidden Power. So, kind of convenient. Um, also, I should mention, you can get some nice TMs in there, in the Mart, like Sunny Day, Rain Dance, um, stuff like that. Now, this person right here, talk to her, because if you have Heart Scales, um, she will do something pretty convenient. She will remember old moves for your Pokemon, so if you accidentally deleted a good move and you want to go back, talk to her. Now, if you talk to this guy, he will delete your moves, so if you have a crappy HM on your Pokemon, talk to him, and he will get rid of it. Um, so, yeah, very convenient house there. And a lot of those heart scale moves, um, you can't get with your Pokemon otherwise, so check it out, um, see if you have anything good. I don't think I have any moves I can learn, so I'll just ignore it for now. And yeah, Route 7, this is where the tower that we're supposed to go to is in. Um, Route 7 is, as far as new wild Pokemon go, it's pretty much the same as Route 6. However, if you're playing in the winter time, you can catch a Cub Chew, which is an Ice-type Pokemon. So, you should probably um, reset your game clock until it turns to winter if you want to catch one of those. Alright, now this guy's already talking about the tower, but he's going to battle you. So yeah, Route 7 is pretty big. It branches off to two different paths, um, but only one of those paths actually takes you to the tower, so that's what we'll be focusing on in this video. And this dude has a semi seer on his team, so Mr. Toad should do just fine. And yeah, it is raining on this route, so um, that's going to boost up my water-type moves, and Palpatoad is awesome in the rain because of the swift swim ability that he has. It doubles his speed in the rain. So I'm actually probably going to go back to the Pokemon Center Mart and buy Rain Dance and give it to him, because that's an awesome move for your Palpitoad. Um, great strategy with the Rain Dance, because your water types get boosted up big time, you're faster, it's just awesome. And yeah, I think you can also get Hail in there for your Ice types, so... Basically all those weather-inducing moves for TMs can be found in the Pokemon Center. Now this house right here is kind of stupid. Um, this guy will trade you in a Molga if you give him a Bulldor. And there's no way you're getting your hands on my Bulldor, so just forget that idea. I don't want your crappy Amolga. 
Anyways, yeah, this rat's kind of cool. It has these balance beams, so you can skip over the grass. But if you want to fight all the trainers, you actually have to go in the grass. So let's try to find our super repels in here. Which always seem to be hiding, because I can never find them. I always hate when this happens. It's like, I'm wasting so much time in the video trying to find my stupid repels. There we go! Alright, and I still have plenty of them left, so I should be good for now. Anyways, I think there's one item in here, but more importantly, a couple trainers to fight. I mean, I don't understand why these people just hang out in this super tall grass. Like, this is up to our heads. Why would people just be walking around in here for fun? It's like a freaking safari or something. Um, anyways, Youngster Parker. Ooh, he might be Spider-Man. It's Peter Parker. Um, anyways, yeah, he has a Palpatode of his own, so... We'll see how this goes down. Palpatode versus Palpatode. Mono y mono. Um, let's go ahead and use Scalb. Actually, you know, I think it's called... Every time, <laughs> for like the past few videos, people have been telling me I'm saying Scald wrong. It's supposed to be like Scald or something. I don't know, I'm just horrible at pronouncing words. I'm just that one guy that always says it differently than everyone else, apparently. But you guys know what I'm talking about, so... Hopefully it's not too frustrating. But I'll try to fix my pronunciation errors. Um, anyways, Palpatine's up to level 32, and next up is a Shelnit, so, you know, let's go ahead and switch out. You already got up a level. Um, so let's go to Porky, because Shelnit's very weak to fire types. And actually, keep this in mind, if you're fighting in the rain, your fire types will be a little bit weaker, but Porky can still knock him out pretty easily, so I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, Shelnit's a pretty cool Pokemon, which you can actually, not in this route, but in the route before this, Route 6, you could catch it. And I was talking about how good of a Pokemon it is. It's actually really nice to have on your team if you can evolve it. So there we go. Everyone's like past level 30 by now. We're getting up some steady levels here. And for Scolipede, let's switch out and go to Gothita. Actually, I think I spoke too soon. Gothita's only at level 29. So you really need to get up a level. But yeah, you're probably going to. And yeah, Scolipede. I was actually really thinking about using this on my team. It's a poison and bug type. And it's funny, because every single walkthrough I've ever done, for whatever reason, I've had a poison type. Like, I don't, I'm, I don't even like poison types that much, but it just I don't know if it's just a coincidence or whatever, but I've always had a poison type. Um, but I did not catch a Scolipede, so that kind of ruined the trend of poison types on Leroy's team, but oh well. I like the team I have anyways, it's fine. But yeah, Scolipede's a pretty fast Pokemon with some pretty good attacking stats, so he's not bad. And there we go, you're finally up to level 30. So all my team members are now at level 30. Now we got that off our chest, so I don't need to worry about that anymore. It's always annoying when, like, one person's at level 28 or 29. Just want to get them caught up with everyone else. And oh my god, it's an Ultra Ball, the greatest item of all time. And since I'm not even catching any more Pokemon, I probably won't use it. Other than, like, legendaries, I guess. And yeah, here's another youngster in the grass. Um, youngster Mikey, alright, so who do you got on your team? And he's got a Dwebble. So yeah, we're getting a lot of bug types lately. And Mr. Toad should do just fine. Yeah, I like Dwebble. It's the rock and bug type. One of the Pokemon I used the very first time I played this game, and it was pretty cool. Because usually bug types don't have that great of defense, but this one has really nice defense, plus that sturdy ability. Oh, check it out! We burned it. That is amazing. <laughs> I love how a water type can burn a Pokemon, that's just awesome. But yeah, down goes Dwebble. Anyways, um, you guys are actually lucky I'm making this video right now because it's... I have finals tomorrow, today and tomorrow. I already had them today, but... Yeah, I, I could be studying right now, but instead I took time out of my busy studying schedule to make this video for all of you. Because that's how much I love you. I'm willing to get bad grades in my classes for you. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I, I don't study anyways. I just play Temple Run all the time. <laughs> no, I, I actually do fine in my classes. I just I have really easy finals tomorrow, so I'm not too worried about it. Anyways, let's finish this thing off with a Bug Bite. Yeah, don't forget, Joltik is also tar part Bug, and Bug's actually super effective against Grass, which most people don't know. Um, anyways, we're paralyzed, though. Yeah, how stupid is it that my Electric type gets paralyzed? That is just ironic. Especially by a freaking Lick. I mean, I can handle getting paralyzed by, like, a Thunderbolt or something, but when Lick paralyzes me, it just really is it's just stupid. Um, but there we go. You're going to get up to level 31. So that's that. Now we can move on. Um, yeah, there's actually a lot of trainer battles that we're going to have to go through in this video. 
It seems like the tower's like so close, you just walk right up through Route 7, but there's actually a lot of these people in the way, and I think I have to fight this guy, which is unfortunate because it's a, it's one of those triple battles slash rotation battles, depending on whether you're playing black and white, and I hate this because it takes so long. It's like, no, I don't want to do a stupid rotation battle. I just want to battle the old-fashioned way because this is just... I just haven't figured them out. It's like, I hate rotation battles. I just never know what's going to happen. It's so unpredictable. It's like, I think I'm going to get a super effective attack in, and they just rotate to someone else, and it's like, oh, it's so annoying. So I guess what I'll do is just keep attacking and see what happens. I'm not going to try to rotate and predict what the computer's going to do, because who knows what the computer's going to do? These people are stupid half the time. And then they'll randomly make a good decision, and it's like, what the heck? I thought you were stupid. Since when do you actually make logical decisions? Yeah, you just never know. But anyways, I am really looking forward to fighting the gym leader Skyla. Like, did I not mention how good-looking Skyla is? Like, seriously. I mean, okay, just just let me know in the comments. Like, is this is it creepy that, like, okay, Skyla, I know she's not a real human being. I know she's just a drawn, animated character. Is it, like, weird or creepy that I think she's good-looking? Because, I don't know, they're, they, they did a very good job of designing Skyla. That's all I'm going to say a very good job. And you know what? Tell me, do you have the same opinion about Skyla or like May or Don or any of those people? Just let me know because I, I, I would love to just like see other people's opinions on that just so I don't feel so weird on the inside, but oh well, whatever. Anyways, down goes Palpatine. I guess I'm not really paying attention to the battle here. I'm too busy talking about attractive girls in Pokemon games, which is probably not something I should ever talk about again. I don't know. Um, anyways, we'll send in my drag queen here, just because I think I can get the easy kill with... Oh, of course, you freaking have to rotate. See, this is what I hate. I think I'm like, okay, I'll use a psychic type. And then they rotate to a psychic type, and it screws me all up. It's like, oh, why? Why do you have to do this? Anyways, um, let's do this. Let's rotate over to uh, Jungle Gym. Let him take care of this thing. Hey, yeah, the rotating thing's kind of weird. You just have to little, press the little button, and it rotates. I don't know. And I guess you're going to rotate, so whatever. Whatever tickles your fancy, you're going to get killed either way. We had th I guess the good thing about him is that everyone gets a little bit of experience, so I can get um, Joltik and Gothita up levels pretty easily. And those are the ones I really want to get up levels, because I need them to evolve soon. And there we go, Gothita's up to level 31. Perfect. And you're going to learn the move Future Sight. Alright, Future Sight is actually a pretty powerful move, so I will teach it to you. And I'll get rid of Flatter, because I never really use that. I don't know. But yeah, Future Sight, it's um, one of those moves. It doesn't attack on the first turn, it attacks the turn afterwards. So like, or is it two, it, it like doesn't attack for two turns and then strikes the third turn for a bunch of damage. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. Anyways, um, you probably got pretty roughed up from that uh, triple battle slash rotation battle, so you can go over to this house and heal up your Pokemon. Someone in here will heal you up. Um, apparently not you. She's just making soup over there. So is it you that heals me up? I mean, one of these people does it. No, they're all just talking about the soup that Granny's making. Well, I think you heal me up over here. Yeah, this person rests you up and heals your Pokemon, and I still don't know how this works. Like, you just take a nap, and suddenly your Pokemon are fully healed. Like, their poison will be cured, their burns will be cured, everything will be cured just by taking a little nap. Maybe they fed them some of that magical granny vegetable soup or something, maybe that's how it works. Anyways, yeah, I put my Bulldor up front, because I just realized he's my lowest level Pokemon, and he hasn't fought in forever in a day, so... Yeah, Bulldor, you need to get some experience, and you can probably do it against this trainer right here. And by the way, we're actually pretty close to the tower, so it's coming up. Oh no, the end of the video is coming up! This is actually going to be a long video, another 20 minute video. Which is fine though, because people actually tend to like the longer videos, I've noticed. Most people are pretty happy that I uploaded like a 30 minute video. And all the, all the videos used to be like 9 or 10 minutes, but of course now YouTube lets you upload longer videos, which means you can just get a whole lot more done, which is pretty cool. Anyways, check it out, Quick Claw Boost. Oh yeah, that's how we do it. And that's going to be an easy one-hit KO. But yeah, one of the reasons, like, video... I, I don't upload videos every day, but it's because, like, back in the day, I could just make, like, a 10-minute video. Now it's like they're all 20 minutes, so it's twice as much, so... They tend to be more spaced out. Um, anyways, yeah, we got some Pokemon Rangers, which just means we're going to get some free berries after defeating them, so that's the good news. 
I don't know what the deal is with Pokemon Rangers. They just all love handing out berries. Um, anyways, check it out. It's a Swabloon. All right, even though you're a grass type, I am not afraid of anything. Because my Gabra can take this thing out, so... Let's go with a Rock Slide. That's all I really need is a Rock Slide, and I can kill anybody. And I still haven't evolved my Bulldore. I really need to do that at some point. Maybe I'll do it. Okay, here's what I'll do. After I defeat the Gym Leader Skyla, I will do it. I promise. I will evolve you into a Gigalith. And check it out. We got another Quick Claw boost. So that's awesome. I guess it's not a Quick Claw boost, but whatever you want to call it. The Quick Claw kicked in. And we get up to level 31. All right, next is a water type. Okay, maybe I said I'm not afraid of anything. Maybe I am afraid of Simipore because it's already raining outside, which means your water type moves will do even more damage. So we better go over to Webster, take care of this thing. All right, so what's it going to be? Let's go with Electro Web. I'm starting to kind of like using Joltik here. He's, he's come a long ways in the video and a half I've had him on my team. And yeah, I put the Magnet on him, which boosts up Electric type moves. Pretty awesome. Just does 20% more damage, but it, you know, it makes a difference. I always recommend those um, items, like the Sharp Beak, which we got earlier, the Magnet, which I have on him now. Those are always useful, um, just boosting up your Pokemon's moves. And yeah, check this out. It's a Tranquil, so another Pokemon Jolt that can kill pretty easily. Ah, eh, detect, you suck. But yeah, this is what I love about having a full team of six Pokemon. It's like, anything that comes at me, I can get a super effective hit on it. Nothing to worry about, really. So yeah, that should be a one-hit KO. And there we go! So Tranquil goes down. Webster gets some more experience. And we'll keep moving on. Alright, so, uh, we gotta grab this item. Oh yeah, I forgot! My berries! Mwahaha! Aspear berries. I don't even know what those do, but I will take them. Alright, now stop talking to me. Oh, great, my repel wore out. I'm so close to being done with the grass. But yeah, there's a PP up. Pretty useful, worth grabbing. And let's see if we can get through here without a wild battle. No! That was the most ridiculous thing ever. I kept trying to run away, but it wouldn't let me escape. And then my Bulldore got killed by a wild Pokemon. It was ridiculous, and it made me very upset. Um, but I'll cut that out, because I got, I got really mad, and I started screaming. I, like, literally, I was screaming. I was so angry, but... Yeah, we'll move on. Yeah, now my Bulldore's dead. He can't get any more experience. How sad, but... We'll just put up Jungle Gym. Well, I guess Jungle Gym was next up anyways, so... This should work fine. You can eat this thing alive with a bite. Like, you're literally going to eat it. You are biting into it. Did that taste good? Does it taste good to bite into a Pokemon? Like, I wouldn't think that would taste good. Anyways, we got an Axew next. This is the first time we've seen this Pokemon. And the first time we've seen a Dragon-type Pokemon, actually, so... Actually, I, I said I have good matchups um, and super effective moves for anything, but not dragons, I guess, because dragons are pretty rare and pretty tough to match up against. But we'll try Drag Queen out. Yeah, dragons are super powerful. And I'll try my new move, Future Sight, here, just because I'm expecting this to be kind of a long battle. But yeah, they're, they're super powerful with their attacks. Like, Dragon Claw does a ton of damage. So it looks like Drag Queen might not last much longer, actually, which is unfortunate. Oh, but I'll be spared with a slash. Alright, I'm probably going to have to heal with my uh, potions or something. I will make sure Drag Queen does not get killed. I want you to get the experience. So let's use one of these fresh waters. If I stalled out long enough, the Future Sight can just kill it. So Remember that move Future Sight I was talking about earlier? It takes two turns off and then like does a bunch of damage. But yeah, this thing's not even at that high. Well, I guess it's at level 31, but it's not even evolved, and it has that super powerful Dragon-type move already. But yeah, there's the Future Sight, so we got it knocked out. Thank goodness, right? Alright, so we beat Pokemon Trainer Pedro. You do not look like a Pedro. You definitely are not a Mexican. Um, anyways, we're going to get some more Aspear Berries, and I guess that is that. We are done with all the trainers, and next up is the Celestial Tower. So next time we're going to be checking out what's going on in here so we can finally get into the gym and fight Skyla. See you all next time. Oh, Skyla, you are so good looking.